So I just got done filming my Ratchet Skids 3 and I was craving gong cha for many days now and I'm too lazy to go out. Yes, MCO made me a very lazy person. And since I have whipping cream in the fridge, so I thought, why not I make my own no tea phone drink? So, come on. So for the sake of being able to sleep at night because green tea has caffeine in it, I chose for, um, I'm just gonna steal my mom's chamomile tea and just cold brew it in the fridge for like two hours when I get back after dinner to drink it, you know? And I definitely don't need to teach you how to cold brew tea. You basically open this bag up, put it into cold water and put it in the fridge. And of course, you're gonna need whipping cream. And the kind of whipping cream works, I suppose. So you only need like a quarter cup of this, one teaspoon of sugar and some salt. And you blend it. Basically, that's it. Yeah. So let's do that now. So we're gonna need a quarter cup of cream. I just pre-chilled this bowl in the fridge in case the whipping cream does not whip well in a warm bowl. We're gonna need a hand mixer as well. This kind. Oh, okay. <laughs> Smart move. Well, honestly, it doesn't look that visually pleasing. <laughs> it looks like a pile of turd. Let's try. It's the shit that I've been craving for a week. Mmm, so fattening, so amazing. Love it. I can't believe I'm just drinking whipping cream from the tea foam all this while. I kind of feel like I got scammed. <laughs> You want to do it yourself? Easy. I'll list the ingredients right here because I wasn't talking right just now. I'll list it right here by the side for you. Okay. Hey guys, so um, we're going to be making... Shut up. Oh. <laughs> Today we'll be making um, burnt cheesecake. If you remember, I opened up my mom's whipped cream and now I have to do something about it before it gets spoiled, right? <laughs> I found this recipe on YouTube and actually it's an ASMR video but the cheesecake looks pretty good and the guy's cat in the video looks pretty cute. I'll link the video down in the description box below if you want to see it. And yes, let's get to it. First, you need the boring stuff, the baking paper in a bowl and a whisk. Recipe calls for a 5 inch baking tray but I don't have it so I'm gonna use a 6 inch. It almost fell down. You'll also need 150 grams of whipping cream and 250 grams of cream cheese of any choice. And the rest is pretty simple. You would need 60 grams of sugar, um, 5 grams of cake flour, 1 egg yolk, and 1 egg. That's it! That's all! Let's get to it! Okay, so I've got um, the camera set up there looking at the bowl and you guys are on my phone so yeah, <laughs> let's chit chat. Everything has to be in room temperature so it's the eggs, the whipping cream, the cream cheese, yeah, these three things. Ding. I'll go get the scale and be right back. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna beat the cream cheese. Not beat, I'm actually using a hand whisk so I'm not beating anything up, we're just gently mixing it. So yeah, let's add in the 250 grams of cream cheese and so let's just tear it open. And Oops. gently. I have my instructions here. Don't judge me. <laughs> and it's stuck on the whisk. Stuck on the whisk. Yes. Oh, baking with Pedro is fun. Work. <laughs> Get off. Use a spoon to scrape it, and now you gotta scrape the spoon. 100% of your brain is used. Now the next thing, we're supposed to add in uh, 60 grams of sugar and mix until it's dissolved and have a smooth batter. 60 grams of sugar is measured. Bloop. So basically what you wanna do is just mix until everything is incorporated. Okay, next we're gonna add the cake flour. It's this a little, what the fuck? <laughs> Let's put it in. Mix it all together. Now, next, let's add the egg yolk. Get our egg yolk right here. I'm just gonna put it in. Boop. Break the yolk up. That's a really orange yolk, if I were to be honest. Right. Let's 
very watery at this point. Egg yolk is fully mixed. We will add in a whipping cream. Yeah, that's basically what they did. Okay, we're just gonna wait for the oven to preheat. So here's the easy part, we're just gonna pour the batter in. <laughs> toast, toast. Pouring this in. We're supposed to tap it to release the air bubbles. Yo, I really wish you could see that, like, look, it's getting all black. Looks pretty, isn't it? Anyways, I'm going to my grandma's house first to have dinner and I'll be back. Two hours later. And the cake has deflated. <laughs> it looks rather flat. I'm gonna try on before I throw it into the fridge. No. But it looks pretty cute. Hey okay, guys. Good morning. I just woke up. And if you're wondering, if you're watching this vlog and you feel like there's no contact. Yes. <laughs> I have been quite busy recently. I had a lot of things to do. So my vlog feels like it's all over the place. But I think it's still fine. <laughs> but good morning or good afternoon because it's 12.30. And I'm gonna go get some groceries and buy some bread and all that stuff but before that i wanted to show you something very exciting so yeah so i found this old minota point and shoot camera and honestly it still looks pretty nice like it's still usable i can just turn it on for you to see see it works see it works fine so i was thinking i was wanting to take this out for a run and just take random pictures and when like photoshops are open i will take the film and just give it a go see what i took <laughs> I, I never really knew how this point and shoot camera works like this is really my first encounter because previously i wanted to buy disposable ca film cameras if you know i found this i guess this is a better option than disposable cameras so i guess i'll try using this and i was waiting for the battery to arrive because the film arrived pretty early like two weeks ago but the battery something was wrong with the courier and my battery just got stuck in the logistic facility and it never came until like fr on friday so what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna find a way and take the film and load it into the camera i don't know how i never used it before and i really don't want to spoil the film so let's just see how it goes i've popped it up up there so you could see what i'm doing the film was supposed to go here and you pull it over to here and i don't know how to do it without exposing the film but let's open the film pack up um i got the kodak um 200 with 36 exposures i think this is the most basic one that it's around 30 ringgit i'm just explaining this to you because i don't really i haven't really used point and shoot cameras before and if i sound stupid i'm so sorry so oh it's so cute <laughs> dude i haven't seen this in a long time this is so freaking cool <laughs> this reminds me of like the box that my parents used to put like one cent coins in there of course you gotta open it up I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. So as you can see, this is the film. For those who have never seen like a new film like me before. Yeah, the Kodak 235mm um, photo prints, 36 exposures. My thumb is not working. <laughs> supposed to load it in. Oh my god, how do I load it? Yep, it's in. Ah! How are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but like there's this hook here. I think I'm supposed to hook this thing here so like when I, whenever I take a photo, it will pull the film. I don't think this is right. <laughs> okay, so after consulting YouTube for a second, I realized I've gotta pull this a little bit further here. I don't know how, I'm scared. Okay, let me just... Film to point goes that way. It goes there. That's about it. I'm not sure. Let's close it up and give it a try. Oh, did you hear that? It's working. I think it's working. Turn it on. 
Oh, okay, so oh, the number has changed now. It was zero here yesterday. So now it's like one and I think I have 36 shots in here. So, oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. I'll let you guys know how this goes. I'm excited. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Today is Sunday. And as we can tell here, it's raining very heavily. And I woke up and I was like, huh, I want cinnamon bread. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go get cinnamon bread. Yeah, Continental Bakery. That's my favorite bakery of all time. It's 1 p.m. I just woke up. <laughs> See you guys later. So we got our goodies. Woo! Look at all the goodies that I got. Wow. I called my mom and I asked her what kind of kueh that she wants. And apparently when I call her, sorry, the person you call is unavailable. Bruh. I think this is called pandan shiutsu kueh. This is the red bean kueh. I've never had it before. And this is, of course, shiutsu kueh. Classic. Yes. And I've also got, of course, kaya kueh. Oh, my favorite! I love kueh! They're so fattening and they're so delicious! I'm outside of Continental and I've just hopped on in and I've got bread too. I've got myself a the cream cheese bread and my mom said just get an English loaf so... Yeah, I think this is a multi-grain loaf. Looks pretty amazing to be honest. And of course, I'm here a bit early and I finally got my cinnamon buns. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm so stoked! I haven't ate this for quite a while because I always come here and the cinnamon buns are always sold out and uh, I have to buy the potato bun which is pretty tasty to be honest so finally I don't need to buy potato buns anymore and I got myself cinnamon buns Yeah! <laughs> I'm excited over kueh and buns Okay <laughs> Catch you later, let's go home So yesterday I went to the departmental store My mom got me some New bed sheet and a new quilt. There it is. This is the quilt and the bed sheets are here. We're gonna change my bed sheets that haven't been washed for a month. So let's get to it. <laughs> Wow, look at that, it's pretty nice, isn't it? This bed sheet set comes with two pillowcases and one bolster case. This is my own. It's pretty cute, I feel. And there's the quilt with the quilt cover. Yes, it has two faces. Finally, some matching bed sheets. Hi guys, so I realized that the vlog just end abruptly like that so I guess I'm jumping in to say thank you for watching and it seems like I'm not very interesting again I'm not doing anything fun but I hope you liked it It's not that I do something interesting every day so bear with me guys I'm figuring things out so yeah Thank you for watching and see ya! Bye!